Vijay Gurukul in Trimbak district, Maharashtra, South India. Although the sun has only just risen, the students here at the ashram have already been practicing their asana for the last hour. Days begin at 5, so it's no surprise that lights are out in most of the bedrooms by 10 pm. The life here is focused and simple. The students are here to learn yoga in the traditional Indian style following Swami Satyananda. The landscape in which the ashram lies lends itself well to such a simple lifestyle, recalling Monument Valley in its grandeur, and is a sacred place for devotees of Shiva. Meals are eaten together in the large, newly built dining hall. Having times of the day that are quiet is essential to most spiritual communities, and the Gurukul is no exception. So most meal times are silent, although people are usually up for a chat afterwards. Diet is a very important part of a yogic lifestyle. So caffeine and alcohol are forbidden and the only sugar in the diet is in the form of a delicious unrefined cane sugar also known as jaggery. The food is simple and nutritious with Indian staples like rice and chapatis served most days. day here begins at 5 a.m. with chanting. This is followed by asana and then a well-deserved breakfast. The day comprises of meditation, pranayama, which is a selection of breathing techniques, lectures on all aspects of yoga and yogic philosophy. Everyone's favorite part of the day is yoga nidra, a type of yogic sleep.
nothing gets done by itself. Through karma yoga, everybody helps with the general maintenance of meals, cleaning, gardening, and other jobs appropriate to their skills. Gurukul isn't any typical ashram in India. It's a not-for-profit organization staffed entirely by volunteers, including the directors. It is closely integrated into the local community through ongoing charity work with the Saver Fund. The signature of Gurukul is its heart, selflessness and sincerity. <laughs> Every evening the community comes together to celebrate the traditional Havan ceremony. Typically the Havan ceremony consists of a small fire as the object of meditation, accompanied by chanting. The roots of the yoga are in Vedas and the Vedic tradition, the fire is the most important form of energy and the second most important form of energy in Vedas is sound. And if you see the fire and the sound, even the modern uh, physics talks about these two energies at the core of creation, the Big Bang Theory. So the science talks about this heat and sound uh, form at the creation, at the time of the creation. And Vedas have said the same thing. If you want to create a new energy, if you want to create a positive energy, you have to use the fire and sound. And that is what exactly we do in the Havan or Yajnas. And then we use the purified butter, the ghee, for uh, putting it into the fire to let the fire, to let the fire spring, let the fire uh, burn. The mantras are chanted with a resolve of health, healing and peace. Universal peace. India is going where the rest of the world is going. But the yogic tradition and the ashram culture is going exactly opposite to where the world wants to go. I have seen that people feel more peaceful, people are more healthy, 